Following Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, the stomach and its opening to the small intestine, the stoma, are made very small, creating a feeling of fullness by limiting the amount of food that can be eaten and slowing its passage through the stomach. Occasionally, years later, the stomach pouch and stoma may enlarge, allowing patients to eat more and regain their unhealthy excess weight. Inserted through the mouth, a flexible device can be used to help restore the anatomy without external incisions. The access device maneuvers like an endoscope and is easily navigated through the esophagus. Multiple channels allow insertion of an endoscope for visualization and instruments to perform tissue manipulation and approximation. The small grasper pulls a large bite into the jaws of the tissue plicator, creating a large fold in the tissue. The surgeon can vary the depth of the bite to ensure the desired result. Under direct vision, a needle is then passed through the tissue and a pair of expandable suture anchors is placed on either side to hold it in place. To maintain durability of the folds, the suture anchors penetrate the muscularis or serosal layers of the stomach wall and the large surface area covered by the anchors helps spread the holding forces on the tissue. The device is reloaded while in position at the operating site. Repeated several times, this process creates circumferential folds, like a purse string, around the stoma, substantially reducing its diameter, while also reducing the size of the stomach pouch. If the pouch is still too large, additional folds can be made in the stomach pouch until the desired size is achieved. When completed, the stomach pouch and the stoma more closely match the original post-bypass surgery dimensions without a single incision.